Call Me Care Communicate Season 2, Episode 5. Four stories that are actually two. Ganito lang yan. So, first story kasi, inimbitahan ni si Komi nila, of course, ang kanyang, uh, kanyang two best buds, si Najimi at si uh, Tadano. Gagawa rin sila na snowman. So, gumawa na mas balik na snowman muna si Tadano doon sa, sa, sa frontage ng bahay nila, Komi. So, they proceeded now to making a bigger one. Eventually, naging successful. Medyo maganda nga eh. Tsaka talagang ang taba eh. Taba. Ngayon, napansin ko may yung yung ginawang mini snowman ni Tada, no? Na poker face. So, Komi made her own version. Pero yung kanya, may smile na ganun. At itinabi niya doon sa kay Tada, no? And I thought, ang sweet naman. Second story is about a snowball fight. Which, halatang halata, happened a um, a few hours after Komi's mom invited them invited them in. Nagtawag na pala ng kalaban si Najimi. Comprising of, okay, si Yamai, si, Ag- Yamai, si Agari, and three elementary schoolers na kakilala niya. Doon niya nilagay ngayon si Komi. sa side na yon Isa-isa nang itinumba nila nila na Jimmy yung elementary school. Mga ele- elementary schoolers. Ito naman si Komi takot na takot. So, she was at least 12 feet away from the blockade. So, eh kung bumoto siya parang okay, hangga, three feet away lang three feet lang yung trajectory niya. So, talaga hindi aabot. All of a sudden, nakita ng ng captain ng elementary schoolers team na wala na! Bagsak na lahat! Eh, so, the story backtrack now to 10, to at least 10 minutes ago. Yun pala, lum- lumapit si Komi sa mismong side nila na Jimmy. As if na hinahamon sila batuhin siya. ang talagang hindi mo magawa nito si Yamai. So, well, Yamai being, being the um being the stalker fan of Komi that she is, inilaglag niya yung mga iba yung kasama. Then eventually, Komi throws the final snowball at Yamai. Mm, ubos. <laughs> Third story. Well, it's about um uh, the Komi family's annual visit to to their matriarch, yung Lola ni Komi. So, the usual greetings, and of course, yung yung kanilang, yung kanyang pinsang bulilit na babae, si, A- si, A- si Akira. Um, Akira wanted to wanted to play a game of Hanafuda with ko, with her with her, with her older cousin, si, ko, si Shoko. Okay. Basta pag family reunion time, we'll call her Shoko. Okay, the main protag. So, Ang problema nga lang, hindi marunong maglaro ng hanapoda si Shoko. So so Akira uh, had to had to teach her the basics. Then bigla pumasok ang kanilang lola. At bigla sinabi na, "Uy, hanapoda, sige sali ako." Then medyo uh, medyo ni nervous na si Akira. Well, she has every right to be nervous kasi Magaling pa ng Hanap the Player ang kanilang lola. Nilang paso ni uh, ni Lola Komi si Akira. Kasi ang naging nagkaroon pa lang ng stipulation na ganito. So each point na na what you call this na ipapanalo nila dagdag sa sa New Year's sa New Year's bonus sila. For every point she gets Bawas yun, sa, sa, bawas yun sa New Year's bonus. So, sinabi ni Komi na, well, in a way, okay, in, in old, in Komi fashion, sinabi ni Shoko. So, that means, sige, ako na harap sa Lola natin. So, nagtapat na, yung, nagtapat na si, si Lola at si Shoko. It was a neck-and-neck battle. Then, eventually, 
nagkaroon ng siwang si Shoko na uh, na gumamit ng combo that eventually won her the game talaga nag talagang mismong lola niya ang nag concede final story naman what uh, it's obviously it's obviously the next day uh, the next day after the events of the third story It's tradition now with the family to um the family's um females to visit the nearby shrine. So sinama ng kanilang lola ang kanyang dalawang babaeng apo. They were on their way to the temple. Eh ang ang something bizarre happened. So naglalakad silang tatlo, yung mga tao umiiwas sa kanila. Now, they were they're they're going to visit the the shrine office kung maga siguro bibili ng mga charms and narinig ni Shoko na wow may Diyos ang dumaan sa atin <laughs> so medyo umilan na yung communication disorder niya <laughs> mga ganun na doon naman sa souvenir shop nakita niya ngay si uh, si Ina ka yung kanilang kaklase well eventually um, naging friend niya ito Ito naman si Ina ka, sobrang mahiyain. Kasi ayaw niya malaman na, ayaw niya palang malaman ng kanya mga kaklase na she took on this job. Eh, kinuha rin si Komi for the job. Dahil, yung isa nilang, yung isang, um, yung isang maiden nila, hindi pumasok. So yeah, someone has to fill the void. O yun. Kinuha si, kinuha si Shoko. So dalawa sila ngayon nagtitend sa mga customers. And, well, Eventually, Inaka had no choice but to help Komi. But to help Komi out. Final scene. Eh, si, si Shoko pa ang nagpasalamat kay Inaka. Her note went like this. Happy New Year and thanks for uh, and thanks for today, Inaka-san. So Patreon, mga ka-lifestyle, let's break this episode down now. Critics of style. Pace! Typical slice of life anime kind of pacing. Slow and profound. Do I have complaints? Obvious bang? Obvious ba kung ano kung meron? <laughs> Wala talaga. I got no complaints. Kasi talagang ni, hi, ni, hindi naman siya bumibilis pag, ano, pag nagpapakita ng funny moments eh. Talagang uh, right now This episode had a light-hearted touch to it. Kahit yung mga funny moments, ah, oh, okay, sige. Ay, cute naman. Ang grap. Okay. So, kahit yung kilig moment we're in, tinabi pa ni Komi yung kanyang mini snowman, dun sa mini snowman na ginawa ni Tada, no? Yung kanya nakasmile pa. Yung profoundness level medyo tumaas dun. Nothing wrong with that. I would expect that from a slice of life anime. Flow naman. Well, Uh, for me, this is just two stories. So the biggest gear shift of the first two stories was yung, ayun nga, the, um, the moment where Komi put her own mini snowman beside Tadano's mini snowman without him looking, of course. Right? For me, it's a no-brainer of a gear shift. Kasi, yung fondness ni Komi, it's growing na. Right there and then, pinakita niya. So, she's slowly being expressive of her own feelings na. Which is good if you have a communication disorder. Biggest gear shift of the last two stories naman is when, yeah, the final scene, actually. Yung, nag-thank you note siya kay Ina ka. And, well, yeah, Uh, Inaka's heart melted right here in this gear shift. It's a no-brainer, folks. Komi has learned to be thankful. Okay? She now has that attitude of gratitude uh, embedded into her personality. So what if you have a communication disorder? If you have uh, this kind of an attitude with you, baliwala ito. So these two gear shifts that I saw definitely will play a role in Season 2. Plot lies. Um, 
Planchado ang plot mga ka-lifestyle Patreon. The transitioning again is impeccable. Galing! Halatang halata, it's actually two stories. Pero the transitioning between the second and third stories, seamless folks. Napaka-seamless. Talaga, I couldn't find any any uh, any errors in the transitioning. With a plot this ironed out, if you're new to um if you're new to to Komi, you would instantly pass this off as one single story. Pero nope. I'm sorry OLM, but you can't fool me. It's actually two stories. Pero in transitioning Galing. Talagang, it's a well ironed out plot, masasabi mo. So, pace, flow, and plot, they all came together for this episode, folks. Excuse me. So, Comic Air Communicate Season 2, Episode 5. Nagisip pa eh. Oh, two thumbs up! Now, I'm going to, um, I'm going to mention here that, um, that comment I saw on social media na that there's this unpopular fact that um, Komi, eh, Komi is a boring anime and it's, a, um, it's for copium daw. You know what? To whoever wrote that comment, you're not into slice of life animes. You're a freaking normie. Comic can communicate basically is about a communication disorder. Any communication disorder is a mental health issue. Well, if you're, if there's any one of you out there who's still taking this anime lightly after after a very successful first season and now, wow, it's going to have another, it's going to have another great run. The way I see it, you're missing out. Or, you can't handle the truth of uh, that there is such a thing as mental health. Kaya, with any mental health issue, you gotta have a really strong support system. Kung gusto mo talagang gumaling sa sakit na ito. On a, or any mental illness. So, in this anime, yeah. The main protag support system is getting stronger by the day. So, and well, eh, person na siya nakikipag-usap kay Tada, no, eh. She's shown that in the last three episodes. Yung, siya mismo ang tatawag kay Tada, no, th- through cell phone. And she's gonna say, can we talk? Yeah, word, word by word. It doesn't have to be a full sentence. Okay? At, and she's blessed to have a friend like Tadano who reads, whose primary talent is reading people. Kahit hindi siya kausapin. So, this is what's, um, this is what's, this is what makes Tadano uh, a really unique character in anime. Kaya, konting, uh, konting jiggers, konting hinig lang ni 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 Komi gets na niya kung nung kung nung ibig sabihin nun so you there's a lot of life lessons to be learned in this anime guys and for those of you who are still missing out on who are still deliberately missing out on this one um consider yourselves well normies so again Comic Can Communicate Season 2, Episode 5. Two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for this. Wow, this wonderful anime, mga kalaysta. Call me, call me, call me, call me. Patreon, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, ano ba, magag- ano ba magagawa ko? Eh, di pa rin lang kayo mag-chill-chill dyan. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.